So Wayne Warmack sent Tate and I this photo or photos of something very intriguing to us. But until we get to that photo and those photos, that Tate will probably flash here. Tate, how was your week? It was good. Um, was well, now Wednesday, so Wednesday. we're on Wednesday. We're at hump day of the week and got a uh, busy weekend plan. Yeah. I think maybe we'll try hunting Friday, possibly. Yep. We'll find out. Um, so yeah, we're here tonight to talk about these pictures. I've seen videos on these from the past, but I was not aware of them until I actually got the pictures from the email and then started looking into it. Um, there's been some interesting takes on these pictures. Um, you wanna go ahead and tee it up and introduce where it's at? Okay. Oh, I guess yeah, so. so this is at the Table Rock Lake in Arkansas. That's at the edge of Arkansas into Missouri, I'm pretty sure is what Wayne said. And he told us this. And uh, I've not really just sat and just studied these photos before. I think that I have seen these photos before, but he said that, that these photos were sent to him and then shortly after the lady passed away before he she even got to ever go public with these things um i don't know really how to explain this you just have to take a look for yourself yeah i mean it's really confusing because we have a table rock in our location and a lake james that is in front of the table rock mountain so when the guy sent this to us and was like, these were at Table Rock Lake, I was assuming he was talking about our area because there have been Sasquatch sightings at the Lake James Table Rock area in North Carolina. But this is in fact a different Table Rock Lake that is in Arkansas. Yep. As you can tell, this first one, this is the one that I think I've seen before. So it looks like it's walking from right to left. But to me, this thing in this photo looks like it's a baggy suit to me but I'm not a hundred percent um that's my take on this first photo could it be a Sasquatch possibly but it's it just looks kind of slim up top but the farther you get into these photos once it turns and goes up the hill once Tate gets that that photo that I'm talking about it's like it changes to where it's bulkier looking okay so now looking at these six pictures for myself and what I think about them I'm gonna piggyback off you on the first few um very slender looking it does have the trademark cone head but then when you start looking at the one where the back's turning it's kind of scaling the the ridge or the hill it looks shorter and fatter and my biggest thing is um the backstory on this i believe is people on like a riverboat having like a party they was you know just out there maybe partying on a, a weekend evening or something and this happened to pop up and was just walking the riverside off the bank and they took pictures of but here's my thing um would you if you if you if you're in that moment would you not take a picture and then take a video of this thing i mean this thing was like sitting there just posing for the cameras for a long time and that's that's my first alarm second alarm um it just the first two pictures don't look like the same creature and then my next thing is there's no muscle definition, so this Sasquatch must be starving to death out there. And it looks like there's a plentiful amount of food source around it. Um, and next thing is, I just don't, I don't think that this creature would sit there that long and just let people, you know, you, it, it's well aware that people are watching it and obviously taking photographs of it. You think it would flee the area after a few seconds, but it just decided to hang around and go back and forth and cross the bank. Um, for me, it's almost like this could easily be a hoax where someone just put on a suit and everybody was in on it and just tried to gain some publicity. But then again, I hate to judge like that because I don't know. I don't know the full story behind this. Um, to me, if it is not a person in a suit, it is a Sasquatch. I mean, it can only be one or two things. It's black and white. So that's my biggest take on it is why is it just sitting there, you know, out in the open let people just take pictures of it and yeah to me does it not look like to you that the the last the last few pictures don't look like the same at the first two like that that those first two pictures look like a completely different Sasquatch so yeah it, it does look like a, a completely different location but so if they're sitting there 
and this is no like knock at Wayne because I really appreciate Wayne sending me this and I'm not knocking his friend or the lady that sent those to Wayne but if you look at this they're close to this creature in the first couple pictures and then in the last two pictures it looks like they've drifted half a mile away if you're sitting there and you're filming a creature like this why are you going to drift away you're going to stay there offshore as get as close as you can without it hurting you but like you said the first couple kind of a gray look whenever he zooms out it's really really green like two different locations but you can tell like this is most likely the same location it's just different camera angles but if you're videoing a sasquatch and you know it's a sasquatch why are you going to drift away from this creature i mean they drifted a good hundred yards away from it whenever they could have been zoomed in but that's a pretty clear picture to be zoomed in um but the last one i mean it turns into a just a itty bitty speck and i'm not calling i'm not one to point fingers and call up because i'm no expert on what a sasquatch looks like but this one to me could be too good to be true um thank you wayne for sending this to us i mean this is this is this is awesome and I, i've seen these photos before i'm pretty sure i have but he said these have never been seen before but i'm pretty sure i've seen these i'm she may have sent these out to other people before she passed away but thank you so much and i mean the one picture could look like a sasquatch walking away because it looks bulky and you can see like the butt pads what would be its butt but other than that I, i'm kind of just on the fence with this one so yeah i mean we hardly ever disagree but we're it sounds like we're on the same page with this yeah um a big shout out and thanks to wayne again um by no means are we discrediting this completely and saying it's false or anything but you know when, when we get sent pictures or videos to review we're never going to completely come out and say that it's completely faked or hoaxed unless it's just like plain as day for anyone to see yeah this is too questionable to call um every phone has a camera on it now, right. like a video camera why would you not record this thing and it and but then again, not everyone out there is a Sasquatch hunter or a Bigfoot hunter or a Yeti hunter or whatever you want to call it, skunk ape. No, not everyone's that type of person and they're probably not thinking about it. And so you got to, I do look at it from that side to, to like, they're probably not thinking about video in this. They're probably not thinking about getting as close as they can. They probably actually may actually be wanting to get away from this thing. And that's why they did drift a football field or two away from it. But yeah, like you said, not pointing fingers, not poking fun. It's just to me, what what completely throws us off for me is the first two pictures. I mean, just a slender looking skinny Bigfoot with long arms and short legs. It just looks disproportionate to me. But now, if I'm looking at that one picture where it's back's turn and it's going up the bank like you was talking yeah. about, I'm gonna say all day that's a Sasquatch. I mean, it looks like one. And if that was the only picture to go by, then yeah, I'd say yeah, 100%, I think it's a Sasquatch. But for me, Given the first two pictures of the slender looking Bigfoot, I'm going 50-50 on this, and I'm never going to discredit it and say it's false, but I'm not going to say it's 100% a Sasquatch also. It's it's interesting. Let's put it that way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's this video. Um, let us know in the comments below what you think about these pictures. Do you believe it is a Sasquatch? Do you believe it's somebody in a suit? Or do you believe it's just something random that we don't know what the answer to it is. I mean, it could be anything. That's the beauty of this. Tell us in the comments what your opinion is, what you think about this, and let's have this discussion keep going. And big shout out and thank you to Wayne again. And we'll be back in the woods real soon. And until then, keep squatching. Get squatchy.